In this video we're going to show you how to rotate a shape um, using a piece of tracing paper to help you get it in the right position. So it's quite common for you to be asked to rotate a shape in GCSE exams um, and in this case I've got an example here asking us to rotate a shape by 90 degrees clockwise using 3.5 as the centre of rotation. So there are a few things that you need to know about doing rotations. First of all um, a rotation is when you turn a shape, so you're going to spin it around. And when you spin something around, you need to spin it on an axis, like a wheel turns around an axle in a car. You need to spin something around a certain point. That's called the center of rotation. We'll come to that in a second. The other things that you need to know are clockwise and anticlockwise, which direction they are. Okay, And you need to know that 90 degrees and 180 degrees, 90 degrees is a quarter of a turn, and 180 degrees is half a turn. We'll be looking at that in a minute. So let's have a look at how we rotate this shape. So first of all we read the question and it says turn the shape. Rotate means turn. So we're going to turn the shape by 90 degrees clockwise using 3-5 as the centre of rotation. First thing to do, trace the shape. Okay, I've already traced this one. Then what you need to do is you need to find this point here, this centre of rotation. This is like going to be your axle of your wheel. This is the point around which the shape is going to turn. Three, five, here it is, and it's actually at one corner of the shape. You need to leave your pencil there, once you've sort of put that blob on the shape, put your pencil at that point. Then what you need to do is you need to think about what you know. Okay, so we've got clockwise, anti-clockwise, quarter of a turn or half a turn. Let's look at what we're told. We're set told to do this 90 degrees clockwise. So if we look at the diagram, I'm going to be turning in that direction and 90 degrees is a quarter of a turn. So as I said, keep your pencil at that point there and we're going to do a 90 degree turn clockwise and that is where your shape needs to end up. If you're unsure about when you've done 90 degrees, make sure that you use the orientation of your piece of paper. See how, I don't think you can quite see my tracing paper here. My tracing paper is aligned, there's basically, um, just here is an edge of the tracing paper, but it's in, in line with that line there. When I turn this shape, that should move 90 degrees, it should be now vertical. If it was horizontal before, it will be vertical now. So I've moved my shape 90 degrees, now all I need to do is make sure that I'm really careful about drawing it in the correct place. And here we go, this is where it went. Just like that. Okay. So that is rotating a shape using a piece of tracing paper. I've got one more example. Uh, this time asking us to do something slightly different, only very slightly different. The, the centre of rotation this time is 4-2. It's no longer on the shape, so it's just slightly off the shape. But we use the same process as before. Let's read it. It says turn the shape 90 degrees. Let's check what 90 degrees is. 90 degrees is a quarter of a turn. And we're going to go anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise means this way, turning it around in that direction. So let's just check that I can get my right centre of rotation. Here is my piece of tracing paper. Let's just trace the shape quickly. There it is. And what I was told to do was rotate the shape by 90 degrees anti-clockwise using 4-2 as the centre of rotation. So I find my 4-2, put a blob there, keep my pencil there, remember what we said, 90 degrees anti-clockwise, 90 degrees in that direction. And you can see that I'm a little bit out, okay, quite often that will happen, you know, it won't be quite accurate, but most of the time you'll just be able to sort of fit it to where the nearest squares, okay. That one there looks like where I've got to go. So I'm going to draw the shape in that position. Like that. 
and I have rotated my shape. It's a really good idea when you're doing exam questions to mark on the, po the point around which you rotated as well just to give the examiner that extra bit of confidence that you knew what you were doing. Okay, if you are asked to describe a rotation you might want to check out the video on describing rotations. That's a bit more tricky to do. Um, generally I advise people to do it using trial and improvements.